In this video, I'm going to show you how the home button and the navigation bar work on the Samsung Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. And today we're gonna to look at some of the basic things that you can do with the new home button on the S9, S9 Plus, Note 8, S8, as well as the S8 Plus. So not too much new here, but a few tips that I wanna show you. So first, let's start with the screen off. So when the screen is off, you will notice that the always on display, there is a little square icon at the very bottom of the screen. So that is part of the always on display. And if you have the always on display off, you won't see that. But if it's on, you just tap that twice without pressing hard, and that will actually open your phone and then you can swipe to unlock the device. But if you go back to the lock screen, we can actually just press down and it's like there is still a home button embedded in the screen and then you can unlock the phone. So that is how you can quickly unlock your phone without having to press the power key. And the side buttons here, there's nothing there. It's just right in the middle where that power button is. So you can either double tap or press it to unlock the phone. Now that we have the phone unlocked here, you will see that we have the home row keys. Now, if I go into an application and I wanna go back, I can either just press the home button or I press a little harder and it will go back to the main home screen. So previously these were hard buttons on Samsung phones, but now they are all built in on the screen. So you have the back button, home button, and the recent apps button right there. Now, when you are in an application, you'll notice this little dot. So that little dot allows you to show and hide the navigation bar. So right now you can see that when I'm in YouTube, it is showing the navigation bar. But if I tap this twice, so here it's telling me that it is going to hide the navigation bar. You can double tap this button to hide. So that's the button I just touched. You can swipe inward from the edge of the screen to show the navigation bar. So that's swiping up. You can also double tap the button again to lock into place. And then on some screens, it will always show the navigation bar and we can adjust that in the settings. So we'll go and adjust that in a minute, but we're gonna select okay. And now you can see the navigation bar has been hidden. I can then swipe up and it comes back. Or if you're just browsing through the app, you wanna go home, press the home button again with a firm press and you'll feel it vibrate and it goes back to the home screen. And here you can see that on the home screen, it is showing the navigation bar again because on the home screen, it is required to show that. So now if we go into another app, you can see that camera, it hides it again, and then I can swipe up and see that. And if I double tap, it will then lock that there. So it is always available. Now, let me show you how to adjust the navigation bar setting. So if we go into the settings of the phone and we go under the display settings, scroll down here and you will find the navigation bar. So up here at the top, you will see the show and hide navigation button. So when you turn that off, you'll see that that little dot will disappear down here in the bottom left hand corner. Next, let's move to changing the background color. So there are only a few different color options available, but you'll see that as I change those, it will change the navigation bar down there on the bottom so you can see the different colors that are available. So we're just gonna keep it at default right now. To edit the hard press home button, we can just tap right here and adjust those settings. So when this is off, you cannot hard press the home button to go to the home page or to unlock the phone. So previously I had it set right here to the middle option, but if we go lighter and then I wanna test this out, that means if I barely touch, it will then unlock the phone. So there you can see I'm just barely touching and it would go to the home page. If I go to stronger, that means I have to press down quite a bit to get it to unlock. So maybe if you're accidentally always going to the home page, here you can set it as stronger. I kind of like it right there in the middle. So I'm gonna exit the test and go to the middle there. Next, you have the option to unlock with the home button. So when you hard press the home button while the screen is off, it will skip the lock screen and go directly to the home screen. So let me show you how that works. So now if I lock my phone and I do a hard press on the home screen, it just goes right into the phone. We'll show that again here. Hard press, jumps right into the phone. Now if I turn that off, lock the screen, hard press, it goes to the lock screen. So there you can see the difference. And then the last option here is we have the button layout. So on all previous Samsung phones, they have had the recent apps button over here on the left and the back button over on the right, but other Android phones have had that swap. So you can actually select the button layout and go to the back, home, and recent. So now 
you have the back button over here and the recent apps over here. So it's really nice that you can adjust that, especially if you've used a different Android phone and you're used to it in this layout. So we're gonna switch it back to the back button and home button there. So those are all the navigation bar settings, but let's talk a little bit more about what these buttons actually do. So first, let's start with the recent apps button. So you can quickly go to your previous application like that. You can see all the list of apps that you were just using. Now, a cool trick is you can double tap the recent apps button and it will jump back to the app you were just in. So let's say I want to go to YouTube and then I'm taking some pictures, I double tap, it jumps right back to the camera where I previously was. If I open this up again, you have a few options. Let's say I am watching a YouTube video and I want it to stay at the top of the screen. Right here you have a pin option. So if I select that, you can then choose part of the screen, hit done, and then that will always stay at the top of the screen. So you can always have YouTube right there at the top. And then here I could choose a separate application. Maybe I wanna be using Twitter down here on the bottom. You have all of that while YouTube is still up here playing and it's locked there. Then if I open this back up, it is going to use your multi window settings. So you could actually choose a different application and you can have those two apps running at one time. If you wanna close this, you just drag this middle bar all the way up to the top. It will then close the multi window. Then another option I have here is I can open that multi window by pressing the two windows right there. It then opens up YouTube and down here I could open up Twitter. Now cool thing on the Galaxy S9 is you can actually select the middle and the plus will then add those two apps as a pair on the home screen. So now when I go home, you will see that I have YouTube and Twitter paired as one app so I can instantly open up both of those apps at one time. Again, if I wanna close this out, I would just need to swipe one all the way up to the top. And then up here in the settings, we can actually choose to lock apps. So maybe when I clear all the apps, like here I click close all and clear them all out, I can choose to have some of them stay there. So I can choose lock apps and now I can say lock YouTube. And so when I choose clear all, it will not close YouTube. So YouTube is still open. And then I can choose to show a list view. So here the list view will quickly show you all the apps instead of the page preview. And I can close apps, open multi-window, unlock the apps right there. And then the last setting here is you can go into the settings of multi-window where you can quickly shrink apps down if you use the pop-up view and uh, show the apps when you hold down the recent apps and then it will go into multi-window. One other cool trick in the recent apps button is here, if I wanna pop out any of these apps on top, you just need to hold down and then drag it right here in the drag here for pop-up view. And there it will go into this pop-up app and you can actually have multiple of those open at one time. So if I wanna do this to YouTube, drag it right there. Now you have these applications, I can minimize them once I minimize them, they will show in this little window and you can easily open up those applications and then they're just kind of hanging out. You can minimize them and get to them at any time. So that's a really cool thing to do with the recent apps button. So next on the home button, pretty simple. You press home and it goes to the home screen. If you hold down on the home button, it will activate Google Assistant where you can talk to your phone, ask it to do fun things and uh, ask it to remind you and control your home, whatever you have set up. I've done tons of videos all about the Google Assistant, so you can check those out if you want to know more. And then next we have the back button. Pretty simple, you go into an app, you press the back button, it will go back one step. So if here if I'm into an app and I go into two different settings, I press back once, it will go back, and then back one more time, we'll close out the application. When you are in an app and you hold down the back button, it doesn't do anything. One more setting that you can enable with the home button is in the advanced features of the phone. So we're gonna to go to settings, advanced features, and right here we have one-handed mode. So right now it is set to one-handed mode with the gesture, or you can change it to the home button. So you tap the home button three times and it will enable that. So is what this will do, tap three times, and now it goes into one-handed mode. So that shrinks down the phone so you can easily get to your full phone with one hand. And you can easily swap between left and right side of the phone. And then you can also shrink it down a little bit more or raise it a little bit more, but that's as small as it will go. 
and you can adjust the settings right there easily. So that's just really nice if you're trying to use the phone with one hand, you can quickly activate that. And then you would just need to tap outside of the screen to go back to full screen mode. So again, tap three times, it goes in, tap outside, it goes out. And there you have it. That is all you can do with the home button and the navigation bar. If you guys have any further questions about how this works, please leave a comment below. And if this is your first time here learning all about the Galaxy S9, I'd love to teach you more. So please hit subscribe so that you can be notified of my new and upcoming videos and check out my playlist where I've already taught all kinds of things that you can do with your Samsung Galaxy S9. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.